Welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And of course, you know how we do. We keep it lit 24-7 as long as we're on this set. It's fire burning. And when you're talking about fire burning, we have very interesting personalities who definitely have the flame when it comes to their craft. And yes, now I'm talking about no other person than Ali Odwan, your better known as Tells by his producer tag, Funkula. Is the brilliant producer behind many its part of rankings are Boulez, Boys, Bonner Boys, wonderful, as well as Onyeka, naughty by nature, waiting the sob. Off the album title, twice as tall, tells primarily along with Lyric, Rexy, Timberland, and DJ, DJ DS. Others tells us half of the spaceship collective producer Lyric, who has been tagged Rocket Boys. He sits um, with a couple of people and spoke about his life, so I know a few about this guy. But yes, he's sitting right here in Hello. the Tea Time studio and he's going to be yeah. telling us. But before we even, you know, we have to give him the drum roll. Oh, yeah, Come we do, on we do, now, we do. have some oh, manners. We do, sorry, sorry. Welcome! Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, bro? I'm good. How you doing? Man, great to have you in the studio, man. Great yeah. to have you. All right, so I've been listening to your body of work, and I've been doing a lot of, you know, reading up on you like I'm going to write exam on your <laughs> life. And I realized that you're a laid-back person, but yet very creative. How do you combine that, you know, being in this industry and being a laid-back guy? Um, I just do anything. You know, I just... Um, it's complicated. <laughs> I'm complicated. <laughs> yeah, so, so I just, you know, sometimes I want to be laid back, sometimes I want to be creative, but I don't like when people see me making beats or like being creative. Mm. Cause, like it's weird. Like, so what's your studio hey. session like? Just you. Um, yeah. And the artist? Just you sometimes, and Sometimes wherever. I want to, like if I'm making a beat, I don't like anyone being there mm. except just my guys. But if it's mm. the artist, cause like sometimes I sing when I'm making beats <laughs> and then my voice is not. Mm. <laughs> do you want to do you want to try something no, 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 you know, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right um but what made you get here i mean you don't necessarily sing or whatever so yeah, yeah. Where, how did you find yourself producing songs um i'm a drummer mm. my mom would always take me to church to drum mm. so when i was in secondary school in my ss2 i had this friend beating me his brother is a producer so his brother would make beats and give him. He would now come to school and play uh, beats. And me, I, I used to get jealous because in my head, like, if, if I'm like, you know, if I'm a drummer, then I should be able to do this thing. So mm. I just started making beats. Mm. So I started making beats out of jealousy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Right. And right now you're a Grammy nominated producer. You know, how does that make you feel knowing that a project with you? Because like I said, um, you said you've never worked star hard, you know, than yeah. when you were working on that album. And, um, you know, how does it make you feel getting the reward of your hard work at the end of the day? Because I think there's nothing better than, you know, getting your deserved accolades. Um, it's only, I didn't expect it. Like mm. the whole Grammy thing, mm. um, a couple years ago, like years ago, like, eight years ago i was messing around i just got a mic mm. so my favorite song at the time was run this town jay-z kanye right. yeah so i knew like the lyrics so like i rapped everything and at the end my guy chubby was wasn't like was in the room yeah. so i was like see you at the grammys chubs oh, wow. as jokes you know mm. so like when the whole thing happened i was like wow that is crazy you know, from because like i did i used to see grammys as like something that you know would just never get to mm. we just always hear about it and then mm. so now like it's happening it's just crazy but do you think that your your sound is fueled by certain people i mean obviously you're you're complicated and yeah it's kind of clear with your songs they're, all, they're not even similar oh, there's no one signature or something you're giving me slow yeah, and then yeah, fast and yeah. then whatever whatever but is there any contribution to that like do you think that there's certain people that you would like okay these people really inspire or feel my energy of course okay first cool. person is ledge he's yeah. he's a producer a rapper he's the one that if not for him like i wouldn't be here because mm. like when i was in uni i would always want to give up mm. i would just go around and bro please can you help me so he would he would he would touch up the beats but then i would take all the glory mm. so there's ledge and then mostly john bellion okay mm. i listen to a lot of john bellion um, SARS, okay. Just Blaze, No ID, a couple of other, right. Jay Z as well. Because yeah. I, I tried to, his raps influence my rap beats, 
sadly I don't really have a lot of rap beats out there. <laughs> but then, yeah. Okay, is uh, there any um, collab? I mean, you're, you're, you're a hot cake now. I mean, everyone wants to work with you, work with someone who's associated to the Grammys and stuff. But So I know, I know you're not lacking options, I can imagine, but is there somebody that you're like, oh, more, if I get this person, if I, if I can work with this person, I'll be really happy? Um, in Nigeria. Well, we yeah, can start with Nigeria, that. Nigeria, Rema and Oxley. Mm. Mm. Why? But well, what's stopping that collaboration? Oh, yeah, well, even I mean, why? it'll happen now. It's okay. Happen. Right. It's in work. It's already. your I, I mean, I hope it's a happen. Let me just... <laughs> yeah, let me just but <laughs> have you guys started that conversation? With Oxley, it's, yeah. Why well, Oxley? Oxley is very good. He is, actually. I thought people sleep on him, so I'm quite surprised Jeez. that you mentioned... He's very good. He's really good. All right. Yeah. So, um, you know, when you talk to musicians, right, a lot of yeah. them will tell you that their background, you know, influenced their sound, you know, or um, this is the type of life they lived makes them want to sing the type of songs they sing. Mm -hmm. Now, your beats is your beats. They're very diverse because you just dropped that bully with Pato Ranking, but yeah, wonderful, you know, like we really can box you anyway. So what influences your creativity? Um. Everything, really, everything. Um, when I feel like I'm not creative enough, uh -huh. I just go back and listen to like old songs, and then I, I take walks a lot. Mm. So like I'm, I'm just walking and listening to, like for some time I've been listening to Mafi Kizolo. Uh -huh. Yeah, back then, right. you know. But like the melodies are still very, very relevant till now. Mm. So for Wonderful now, um, was when I would just like I would take my normal evening walks, and then I think I was listening to KISS, the rock band, uh, they mm. had this album. I don't even, I can't remember the name of the song. I just knew I was hearing something. I'm like, oh yeah, this is mm. how the song is going to sound. All right, yeah. so what's your deepest fear in your career thus far? Your deepest fear that every morning you are scared of this? Um, my deepest fear is everyone's fear and I'm not making it. Mm. Because like, I don't think you ever get to a point where you, you don't want to get further. Like, I feel mm. like you just want to keep of growing. Of course, yeah. So like, sometimes I just wake up and then, I can't even like, after the, the whole album dropped, mm. I was just thinking like, okay, now I'm here, what next? Because mm. like, there's this pressure. Of mm. course. Like coming from literally almost a nobody to like, a somebody. Mm. That, oh yeah, so what next are you going to do? Everyone is watching. And then if you fail, that's a problem. So you can't fail. Mm -hmm. So that pressure is a lot. Okay. All right, so that, sorry, it does, okay, go on. Sorry. No, sure you no, can. you go on. Um, I, I'm going to change the, the topic entirely. Yeah, no worries. Okay. No worries. Um, you, obviously, we've had a few producers on, on here, yeah. and there's always a conversation arising in regards to payment and, and <laughs> <laughs> you know, producers really being appreciated. Like, like a song like Wonderful, for example, there's some songs where the artist makes a song, but there's yeah. some songs where the beat, beat really make like makes that song. Either way, it seems like you make it. Yeah, Synergy it, though. Yeah, you can't uh, take one away from the yeah, other. Yeah, exactly. But either way, sometimes it just feels like you make you make the song, you don't make the song, you're not as appreciated or you're not um, you know, duly like um, you know, paid well or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I wanna know from your personal experience, how has that been like? Do you think that you are you have been valued in the way deemed fee or you could get more? Do you get um, price lower than your worth? I think that's just all no, she's I, I, asking. I, 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 mean, I, I can answer both of them. Yeah. Okay. For your own, I, I, I wouldn't work. Yeah. If you're not paying me what I want, I wouldn't work with you. Mm. Yeah, you know, because it's business. Is there ever a moment if of desperation? Where? There will be, but then I'd rather be broke than take something cheap. Okay. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Yeah. Then, um, I feel like this is not even me. This is just Nigerian producers in general. We don't, we, we aren't paid for like, 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 we don't get what we're meant to get. Mm. Like now, I said this thing before, you you go to America or the UK and then you enter a studio and you see the producer, the producer is wearing a Rolex, mm. Mm. driving nice cars. Mm. But you come to Nigeria and you see the biggest producers entering Uber. Mm. They don't even have, you see, the, like, they don't have things. Yeah. Like, you know, it's just, it's, 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 
it's just crazy. I you feel get like, royalties? Yeah. Okay. So what's your story, you know, when you say um, you see the biggest producers, what, are you, what do you intend to change for yourself? Now, I know definitely working with um, a lot of big artists such as the ones you've worked with, yeah. so that's to be very lucrative for you. So what is it looking like? What's your bank account looking like hmm. now? Uh, is, it so <laughs> is it like, you oh, yeah, mama, we made it, or we are getting there? You see, there's this mm -hmm. uh, one day I was just searching for, I was just going through Twitter and then someone, someone had, showed me a tweet where they said I have won fifty thousand dollars. My I'm my worth. Right. I'm, worth, I'm yeah. not I'm not I'm not <laughs> dollars. And then you're not there. A couple of weeks after you spent said, one fifty thousand dollars. No, I no, didn't no, 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 like no, no, his net let, worth. Let me even explain. Mm -hmm. So like the next like some like some weeks after now say it was hundred K. So it was not like oh you know I'm spending so now mention me that, bro, what do you use $50,000 to do? Like, they're updating it. Wow. <laughs> you know, so That's I, crazy. I I, I'm no, I don't have that money. You don't have that I money? I don't have $100,000. Oh, wow. $100,000 okay. is a lot of money, right? It is now. a that's, lot that's of money. <laughs> <laughs> that's very it is wonderful. a lot. But All you right, can so, get, 2021 just started, so yeah. it's not like a if Let's you know. see how it goes. Then. All right, yeah. so there's a part of the show where we make you eat whatever we're serving, right? Mm. And today we're <laughs> serving Amala. That is not possible. <laughs> <laughs> Chef, <laughs> we need the chef to come in. Wait, I don't understand. That. What's your so issue with chef. Amala? You don't like Amala? I just don't regard Amala. You don't you see, regard you it. You what, what do you mean by that? Come to this let table. Me, let, we don't let, allow let Amala shaming. Amala no good um, thing. Get let me beg you. Let me do. I don't, I'm not getting it. To me, I feel like God has put me in this world to save you people. Do you understand? All of you. Amala needs to go. Have you actually eaten Amala with Begiri before? See, I have. And it what was did not it nice. Do to you? I can't lie. It was see, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to talk about that. But then I'm not going to take it again. No, no, nice. no, talk about no, you have no tea maybe, time. Maybe the place nice. maybe the place was you nice. ate it. Like yeah. one morning I woke up and I was craving Amala. I felt so disappointed in myself. <laughs> because oh my I just God. woke up and <laughs> I wanted Amala. <laughs> so what now happened? I shouldn't want Amala in the morning. And I, I went to That's get a brick layer vibe, but go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I went to get it, and then it was nice. Mm. And I felt bad again, because like, this is bad vibes. <laughs> I shouldn't be eating Amala. <laughs> you know Amala, like, you're not actually lying. Like. After that day, I said, I won't do that to myself. Yeah, again. just color it. So what, you like them? No problem. I don't, I don't, anything that is upon the gym, I don't like it. All right, oh, so, okay, okay so, okay, fair enough. We're going to play a game which you call This or That, hmm. right? Clearly, okay. I don't know why this question is still there, but we'll still ask you, Amala or Semo? <laughs> it doesn't like any. any of them. But no, but if you have to pick one. If I have to you pick, pick one. Amala, it's just, it's I can't like pick Amala. You, you pick Amala. <laughs> Yay! Amala wins! Samo Amala is, finally wins! Samo is okay. trash. Drums or keyboard? Drums. Text or phone calls? Phone calls. Singing or dancing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like yeah, for me? <laughs> damn. I singing. can't even imagine you doing anything. Nah, dancing, Fruit, dancing. Fruity Loops or Cubase? Fruity Loops. Did he explain the singing or dancing? I didn't catch that. Singing or dancing? No, I, said, singing. I was I was just singing, but um, no, none of them. None of them. of them? But if you have to choose one, you sing. You'd rather sing. Yeah. Mm. All right. You probably have to sing on the day you get married, so get mm. ready. No, okay. No. <laughs> fruits or vegetables? Uh, fruits. Piercings or tattoos? Piercings. Comedy or action? Action. FIFA or FIFA. Pro Evolution Soccer? <laughs> Xbox or yes. <laughs> uh, so dogs or cats? Uh, dogs or cats? I don't like dogs. Really? I don't like cats. You don't like cats? But then I, I think cats, I don't, I don't like dogs because they're always looking for me. <laughs> like I'm, I'm on my own and then they want to bite me. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, wait, wait, right. why would you choose PS? Xbox is so much nicer. The same way you choose Xbox the same way you choose Fufu over. Do you understand? This guy. Like, oh, there's nothing to this eat. Guy. There's Fufu. Oh my goodness. All right, so this is a very controversial one. David or whiskey? Whiskey. All righty. And mm -hmm. there, you guys. Um, so we're not allowed to ask questions. No, I don't, I don't understand. Me, really I like, like just to. <laughs> okay, Dave, why, why, Please, why, why exactly? Yeah. Whiskey. Ife or Ife? Yeah. Of course, you'll go for a lady. Hey, why are you lying? Unless what? I'm bringing in money. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like yeah. that. I like so what if I brought you money? Yeah. Even without you money, money, we still choose you. Don't worry. Nah, but actually, unless actually, I'm... I'll choose you. Uh -huh. oh, nice. You like money. Nice. 100k is not in his account yet. Are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> it's kinda... All right. So you're going to explain why mm. Davido... And, I mean, why whiskey and not Davido? 
Oh, um, I just prefer whiskey. I just the sound. You know, yeah, I like whiskey sound. All right. Yeah, it's the sound man, and um, that's where we will be calling this a wrap. But I don't know if you I want, still me. Have I wanted questions. to. I know. I know. Odunayo has said we should not ask him questions. Odunayo. What's Odunayo? Odunayo. It's not Odunayo. 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 That's I'm also says. Odunayo, by the way. That's Are my middle name. Yeah. When were you born? When was I born? Huh? When was like, I born? Yeah, like, like what, what month? What, what month? December. Oh, same. Oh, yeah. Okay. Same? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's why we're all doing it. True that. Please, I know you already said you're tired of the question, but I don't care. <laughs> Please, when you were working with Bernard Boy, I, okay, my question really is, when you were working with him, what did you discover about yourself while you were doing that? Because, obviously, okay. he's not... I don't want to bring up that topic, but I think I have a follow-up. No, you can't, you that. can't, you can't. me, can. I don't care. I've you asked the question. You can't, you can't. Uh -huh. so, that's crazy. I have to think about that question. Yeah, because I'm that's, what, that's what I want to know. Like, he seems like, obviously, really talented, but also mm. just very different um, in terms of personality, at least what he's shown us. I used to follow him a lot when mm. before he started getting all, I'm, I'm staying off social media, and he's, he's quite opinionated and, like, very Can different, in my opinion. I'm giving Abba. time to think. We said he has to think. So what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, like, um, obviously, you working with that kind of person yeah. must have had some kind of pressure, unique pressure to that. Yeah. So what did you discover about yourself in that period? Um, I think with the pressure one, the first song we did, Wonderful, I wasn't, I didn't know he was that, like, hardworking. Mm. Yeah, I thought it was just the one, two, three hour session, but it was, like, the whole night. Mm. Yeah, but then I discovered that, you know, with the right push, I can even be more hardworking than the artist. Mm. Mm. You get, like before, I wasn't exactly, I wasn't having sessions. I was just saying beats because I was lazy. I am mm. lazy. Mm. But like there's a, there's a certain amount of push you give me. and So it's contagious for you. Like if you're, exactly. in, a, if you're in a place where like mm, they're hungry yeah. for it, then you get more hungry. If they're good. Hmm. Yeah, because if you're not good, uh, I don't okay, know. Okay. All right, so um, I'll, I'm, I want to ask you this question because um, there's a narrative about Bonner Boy that um, he's arrogant, he's proud, he's all of that. And since we are talking about Bonner Boy, um, is this true? Is there, did you notice any iota of pride or arrogance you know, when working with this guy? Or was he just a guy that just, whenever he wants it, he wants it? You know, was he pride? People won't believe me. Yeah. Mm. But the thing is, he's confident because he knows he's good, so... Mm. Like for me now, I was always thinking about it. He didn't know me. He didn't. He didn't know who Tells was before he met me. Mm. He didn't know anything. And then he just took me as oh, from producer. I returned to after our sessions. We just talk about life. He would tell me about his life after secondary school when I was in the UK. Blah blah blah. So like, I don't that side of him being the mm. having yeah, exactly. Sorry. I mean. I, I wouldn't say I never saw it, but I haven't exactly seen it like from my own side. Mm. And never you know, expressed so. it too with no, you. No, no, never. So that. there's a difference between confidence and pride. That's in, yeah. in, 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 you, in but short. But you, you mentioned something now that, you know, if the person is bad or whatever. I mean, yes, would you work with someone who was, let's say we need to give you 100K dollars now. That if, the money, if the money is good, the person is good now. The person. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm Enough joking, of the Bonner Boy I'm talk. Joking. It's all about oh Tells. And yes, thank you so much, Tells, for yeah. joining us in the show. It's been an amazing it chat. Has. And of course, Amala won this conversation. It did. Yes. Yes. We won him over. I did it. 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 I'm a lot one. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for watching. The com um, for watching. You can join the conversation it's on so social cute. media with the hashtag Tea Time or at us at or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. You can also catch up on our episode on all our previous episode, including this one and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you goes to my co-anchor Enio Lawu had to step down for so due to social distancing, and of course. Um, the half queen, mm -hmm. half mm -hmm. goddess, mm -hmm. if it all my, and of course our studio girls, yeah. <laughs> our studio you guests, man like tells. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Ife. Mm -hmm.